After walking for nearly 15 feet, they found themselves in front of a metal door. Yeah, what you know about those morphogenic fields? It opened easily enough, and they passed through it as well. A new room stretched out before them. Got, is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There's freight? There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Junpei and Ace and June stopped unconsciously, pausing to take in their new surroundings. Santa's voice broke through their momentary trance. Well, we probably gotta start finding the exit, right? Let's get going. God damn it! Another fucking puzzle! <laughs> ah! There are a bunch of bags here. I wonder what's in them. Huh. A car with Ninth Man's face printed on it. What's that? It's a card. It has a headshot on it. Headshot? Yeah, I'm uh, not really sure what purposes could possibly serve. These crates are a little smaller than the others. They look like they are children of the other crates. It says that. Jinpei, that sounds like some sort of fairy tale. Really? I don't know, man. You ever think about how crates would reproduce? Oh, I'm the one saying that. It doesn't really make any more sense, but I don't know. Jinpei is very interesting. That uh, doesn't sound like a fairy tale to me. Reproducing fucking boxes, man. There are three crates here, stacked up like stairs. When we climb up here, I bet we can get over the fence. Junpei, think you can go take a look at that? Sorry, but no thanks. Why? I've uh, got a bad feeling about it. Pussy. Alright, fine, I'll go. Be careful, Santa. Yeah, but uh, just in case. What's he going to do with that? I don't see what throwing a screw at the fence is. Holy shit! What just happened? There's electricity running through that fence. Looks like it. <laughs> and we can't get through the other side? Well, I guess we could jump off those crates, but we wouldn't be able to get back. I wonder what's inside of all these crates. What are you saying, that boy? There's a huge electrical current flowing through that fence. If you do that, you won't be able to get back. Well, if I can move some of these crates over there, are you even sure that you can move them? What if they weigh too much? Then what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, I hadn't thought of that. A box. There's nothing inside. God fucking shit. It's locked. We need the key. All the boxes have numbers on them. Do they? Oh! Ace bent down and picked something that had been sitting next to the box. Junpei, take a look at this. Cards. Car ah! Okay, I see. So, like, there's some number boxes and cards with pictures of all of us. Does that mean we need to collect the cards we don't have? Maybe. We search all the boxes. There's nothing in them. Whatever you say, man! Right, how many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, or wait. Four. Pretty bad, this. It's lit for the crate. There's some sort of liquid in these barrels. I'm not sure what it is, however. Alright, five, six, seven, there's nothing in these crates. I don't know what's in these barrels. Shut the fuck up, Ace! <laughs> Eight, nine, 
All right, I need one more. These stairs, they go up three stories. What are you waiting for, Junpei? Whatever, I'm going. This is the only door here, except for the one we just came through. This is the exit. No shit, Sherlock, of course it's locked. Is it an electronic lock? Nah, just a keyhole right under the doorknob. So to open this door, we've gotta find the key that fits the keyhole. Yeah. What the fuck is this? The monitor's off. We've got a green switch here and a red one, and some kind of lever. None of them seem to do anything, though. Maybe the power's off? Yeah, maybe. There's a single green light in the bottom, though. That means... There are several lights here, with numbers 1 through 9. Only the light with 9 is on. It's lit. Wait, did it just say it's lit? It is lit. Just gonna... It is lit. Well, there's six holes here. They look like jacks for headphone cables. Jacks, huh? Then maybe we put something in them. Yeah, something might happen. I like how this whole game is people like walking around being like, Yo, so there's some shit. Maybe we do some shit, some shit will happen. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah let's fucking press buttons and put things in things. This looks like it's covering something. Looks like some kind of little shutter. Maybe it'll open if we do something. What's gonna come out of it if it does open? Yeah, like I know that. It is lit. Alright, we got all nine, right? They had finally collected all nine picture cards. All that remained was to insert the cards into the slots at the front of each box. Junpei stared at the cards in his hand. Ace peered over his shoulder at them. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Junpei gave him a look. Uh, yeah? Of course I do, it's really obvious. <laughs> You just match our numbers to the numbers on the boxes. So, for instance, the card with the picture of Ace, it goes into box one. The card with the picture of Snake, on it goes into box two, and so on. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. Junpei thought he might have imagined it, but he could have sworn Ace stiffened. I'll leave the rest to you. He quickly turned and walked away. Strange, Junpei thought. Oh well, whatever. Doing his best to clear his mind for the task at hand, he turned back towards the boxes. It was time to solve the puzzle of the nine boxes. Nine cards with pictures in nine boxes. Jimbei stared at them for a moment and then began. Ace's card went to box number one, then Snake went to box number two. Then Santa into box three, Clover's into box four, Jimbei five, June's into six, seven into seven, Lotus's card in number eight, and finally the ninth man's card went to box number nine. And as soon as he inserted all the cards, All nine box lids popped up, open at once. He peered inside. In each box was a single pin. They looked a little like sewing pins, but much thicker. Jubei collected all of them quickly and shoved them into his pocket. Like, why is this here? It's just fucking random. I mean, I guess Zero puts all this shit here, but it's so fucking random. There are six holes here, and it looks like the pins I just found would be perfect. A perfect fit for them. And when you found the nine boxes, right? Well, why don't you try it? Alright, let's see what happens. I think two, four, and six should go on the top part, and three, five, and seven on the bottom part. Well, some of them lit up. Yeah, three and six. I wonder if there's some kind of rule that determines which lights go on. So I put two, four, and six on the top part, and three, five, and seven on the bottom. Hmm. You think maybe it's the digital root? The digital root. 2, 4, 6 is 12. The digital root of 12 is 3. Therefore, light 3 turned on. 3, 5, 7, 6. Therefore, light 6 makes sense, right? 
I see, the lights that match the digital brew, the pins inserted in the top and the lower parts will light up. Okay, that's how it works. Well, there's only one other thing I'd like to check. If he wants to try it, then he's certainly welcome to. So, if you put the one, two, three pins on the top and the six, seven, eight pins on the bottom. Oh, they turned off. Okay. The digital root of 21 is 3, therefore light 3 turned off. Yes, 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 okay. Oh, I get it. Now, if the digital root for the pins you insert is the same as the numbers on the lights, they're lit. Those lights turn off. Yes, it looks like the trick. Alright, we know how it works. You want to give it a try? Wait, you mean you know what we're supposed to do with these lights? Well, no, but I figure you might... I figure we might we could try and see if we can turn them all on, you know. I figure something's gotta happen if we can manage that. Turn on the lights, huh? Okay, Jimmy, let's make sure we know how this works. Alright, pick one of the six holes. Then pick one of the pins in your hand and insert into a hole. Keep that up until all six holes are filled. Once all the holes are filled with the numbers that correspond to the digital root of the pins in the upper and lower parts will turn on. However, if a digital root corresponds to the light that's already on, the light will be turned off. The goal is to turn all of the lights on. What if we want to turn off light 9? I want to turn off light 9. Let's see what happens. Um, fill all the holes repeatedly. Okay. Alright, uh... I think, hold up, let me just... What happens if you do... Okay, so you have to fill them, I see. I'm trying to think of how I can get all of them out because uh, maybe I can't because if I if I if I light up one light and like turn off the other light, it's still one light off. I can turn on a top light and put on a bottom light, and there'll be three, and I can remove. Yeah, I, I think I just I can't, I guess. Yeah, since it works in pairs, that sucks, okay. Well, I guess let's let's go to work. Uh, I guess we'll just start from the... Oh, wait. Okay, so I guess we gotta disable the 9 and turn on the 5. Okay, sure. Um, how are we gonna do that? Uh, oh, that's right, we have all the numbers at our disposal. So I guess we'll make like 14, I guess, or something like that. Just... And then uh, nine, I guess, when we do that. Uh, I guess so. Okay. And let's keep going. Uh, four and nine. Or I probably could just honestly mash it out, but whatever. Uh, I'd click it here. Uh, what do we want to do? I guess. Four, thirteen. Can we do that? Uh, all right, three and eight. I guess I'll just keep doing the same shit. Let's see if it'll work. And then three. Uh, can I do that? I can't. I need to do this some other way. Uh, let's see. Well, I could probably make 21, actually. Uh, God. <laughs> 12? 12? Uh, 12? Um. And, uh, there we go. Uh, 8? Can I do this? Can I do this? <laughs> 
Um, what are we doing now? Seven, I guess. Uh, well, I'll just do it this way, I guess. Uh, I guess want to do twenty. Probably do twenty. When I'm making seven. Can I do that? Yeah. Cool. Uh, ten. Uh, yeah. I guess. I guess ten. Unless we want to make like ninety-one. Uh, let's see. I guess maybe six is probably the one I should start by making. Fifteen, I guess. Uh, how do I want to do that? I guess. I guess we'll do that then. Um, and then one. So. Uh, math is hard. Okay. Math is hard. All the lights are on and the shutters opened up. Hey, does that mean? Yeah, we gotta do it again. What? What the fuck is this? So we've got nine holes and there's an F above them. I don't know what the F means, but I do know one thing. What's that? This time there's nine holes, so we need to insert nine pins. Man, that's boring. Well, why don't you just try it, alright? F means 15. Oh, God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. All right, so do you, do we think we have to do three sets of, of numeric roots maybe and then add those all up? I, I guess? Fucking Santa backseating. <laughs> fucking, I, I guess? I definitely didn't remember. <laughs> but I, 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 <laughs> I would have sat there for a while being like, what the fuck? My face went hexadecimal. I probably would have eventually remembered, but not definitely not the first thing I thought when I saw the F. Actually, that was more just like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, fucking ban Ooh. Santa. Fuck that guy. Alright. Uh huh. But 15, like. You can't get a digital root of. I mean, because, like, that would just be 6, right? So, what is. What are we trying to do here? Like. Santa is definitely... He, you think he's the Black Santa man? We don't know yet. Okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me, like, maybe I don't have to actually put all of them in. Maybe... No, I do. Okay. Am I just gonna add, like, three things that equal 15 or something? Like, um, I'm an idiot, by the way. Hold up. <laughs> uh, uh, I need something to add to six, which I don't have right now, so. I guess this. This is 16, though. I fucked up. Uh. This is how annoying. Uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, 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 that's, I'm, I'm fucking dummy. No wonder. There we go. Hold up. <laughs> Good shit. That's right, okay, okay, we're making 15, I guess. I guess these all add up then. Okay, is this, is this gonna work? Do we have to, like, cross and do this too? Because there's, like, fucking arrows. Is this really, that this, this bullshit of a puzzle? Is this really how we, is this how it's done? Are they gonna really make me do this? Like, like, actually? Like, okay then, I guess, I guess we're gonna do this. Uh, fuck, man. This is, uh, not cool. This is super not cool, oh shit. Dude, dude, no way, no, no way, no way, no fucking way, no fucking way. Ah! <laughs> no fucking way, ah! <laughs> ah, shit, okay, 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 <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, oh no, fuck, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> oh no, dude, all right, uh, fuck, dude, all right, um, what am I gonna start, how am I gonna start this, <laughs> not a real Asian, Um, okay. Now I gotta do these diagonals, right? Fuck. I guess I can just rearrange these, maybe. Uh, let's see. Three and six? Nine? No, that, that won't work. I guess I could arrange, rearrange them this way as well. Uh... Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that! <laughs> Alright. We did it. Power's on now. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that fucking... <laughs> Fuck that shit. It looks like there's electricity going in the monitor on top now. <laughs> first, first puzzle I've seen so far that made Brett visibly think. No, I didn't guess, I just counted. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can activate the device on top. Fucking shit, man. Oh, actually, what did he say? Alright, oh, we're okay, we're gonna navigate this thing on top. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. 
A green button, a red button, and a lever. I wonder what these do. I think this might help. What the hell is this? Where did he get this? What is that? Where'd you find it? I found it when you were messing around with the pinholes. It looks like instructions for this thing. According to what it says here. Uh, this thing's a remote control for that. That? Yeah, that. What's he pointing? Oh. The machine over there. Apparently it's called the Pushmaster 5000. Are you serious? Whatever. So what are we supposed to do with the Pushmaster 5000? You see that coffin? Cough oh, God. You see that coffin on the top of the crates? Yeah. Don't you want to know what the deal is with it? I do. You want to check it out? Yeah? All right, how do you think we're gonna get there? Well, well, there were some crates on the right side of the fence that someone piled up, like stairs. Maybe if we make a path to the coffin from there, how do we do that? Line up the crates, I guess? Yeah, that sounds about, what is Santa's, what is he getting at? I guess this is just another one of Zero's puzzles, yeah? Anyway, let's give it a shot. Oh, looks like the Pushmaster 5000 runs off a of battery. So they keep it from using up its energy too fast. It's been programmed so they'll only start moving once its path has been completely programmed in. All right, I'll keep that in mind. What the fuck is this? All right, let's give this a try. Sure thing, just keep in mind that there's a limit on the battery, all right? The battery dies after 50 moves. At least that's what it says in the manual. 50 moves? Well, so keep in mind the Pushmaster 5000 can't move the heavy metal crates, okay? Got it. Chuck's property in the square adjacent to the Pushmaster 5000 is touched. The Pushmaster 5000 will move to that square. If there is a crate in that way, the Pushmaster will push up to a single crate. Move the crates appropriately and officially. Fill in the yellow areas. Fucking, you can move in four directions. You cannot move diagonally. If the push button doesn't move, can't exceed its battery life. It will be reset. Okay, so we can't move the metal once we only move these ones. How do we... Okay. Oh! I didn't want that. Wait, we can only move... I'm super... What? Wait, is it... Ah! I, I understand that. Okay, okay. Okay, I, I understand this. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, I, I see. Can I hold up? Nimi, I don't actually know what happens. Can I, what happens if I push? Can I, okay, can't. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. I see. Uh, 
Oh, I can go in here. Oh, that's cool. This was interesting. Fucked up. Um, I think that's probably okay, but. Um. I fucked up. I fucked up. Ah, shit. I think there's a, probably a better way without having to make my way. Uh, maybe like this. There you go. That was pretty sloppy. I think there's probably a better way to do that, but whatever. Okay, I'm done playing the program. What do I do next? Uh, just be quiet and watch. See, it's moving already. Awesome, the Pushmaster 5000 did it just why I told it to and lined up all the crates. Great, now we can reach the coffin. We just need to climb those crates over by the fence. Alright. Kind of do this dangerous climbing. Why are we checking this coffin out? They walked slowly past the row of crates until they came to the coffin. I kind of want to do that over again because I think there's like a way, that I'm pretty sure like it, there's a way to not have to go back up after I went down. Um, or maybe I should start from the bottom first. I think either way it doesn't really matter though. It's basically symmetrical. They stopped and nodded to one another, and Junpei put his hand on the lid of the coffin. Mama. Mommy! <laughs> Just kidding. He smirked heartily at his own joke. Junpei grumbled and shook his head. Whatever, just open it. Junpei resisted the urge to remind Santa that he would have had it open a long time ago if Santa hadn't interrupted and quickly threw out the lid of the coffin. They peered inside. Contrary to what they'd expected, inside the coffin was quite large. It was mostly empty, but not completely so. Laying on the bottom was a rusty key. Next to the key, a fucking gun! It's a gun! Yeah, a revolver. It looks pretty old. I wonder if this is a replica. Junpei reached down slowly and cautiously, picked up the revolver. In his hand, it felt heavy. Knees weak. Ma spaghetti. There were cylinders and six bullets already. He had never seen a real gun or even a real bullet before. He couldn't tell if these were real or not. Spaghetti. The barrel was rifled and nothing seemed to be blocking it. As Ace had said, the I'm sorry, I'm just losing brain cells, sorry. <laughs> 
As Ace had said, the gun was a very old one. <laughs> However, it appeared to have been well maintained. If it was a real gun, Junpei thought, it would most likely function perfectly. If it was real. Holding the gun made Junpei feel unpleasant. Carefully, he placed it back in the coffin. You're not going to take it? Of course not. All something like this is going to do is cause more trouble. It's a powerful weapon that gives one person a huge advantage. Something like that would be way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough danger already. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Oh, he's hell going to fucking take it. Maybe Zero put this gun here hoping that something like that might happen. In other words, maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let Zero control me. The others nodded. They had no desire to be under Zero's control. The damn Santa is going to take that ship. Okay, we've got that figured out, but you aren't going to leave that key in there, are you? Yeah, 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 of course I'm not. Jinbei picked up the rusty key and slid the top of the coffin back into place, the gun where they'd found it. Uh, so where's the fucking door? Is it over here? Oh wait, it's, it's up there, that's right. Let's just put this key in here, and yes, it sounds like that did it. Yay! It looks like it's open, that boy! I see, the key should open this door. Hey, what are you guys waiting for? Let's go! Yes, it's opening. You fucking found it. 